All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. We've got one that I'm a little bit excited about because um, a it's a collaboration. Really enjoy collaboration beers. Uh, B it's one of those brewers is probably, if not my favourite German craft brewer, and the other guy involved is a very interesting craft brewer. But I've only ever tried well reviewed one of his beers. But yeah, the beer is the Bravo. Weizen Pale Ale, which is a collaboration between Hopper Broy and Camber Bavaria, and I think it was brewed at Camber Bavaria's um, operations. And I heard about this uh, collaboration um, a while ago, I was following the, the progress on Facebook, Instagram, that sort of thing, and it seemed really exciting. And uh, yeah, absolutely gorgeous artwork there. I'm not sure if that's in focus or not. Yeah, very nice and vibrant. It sort of almost, but not really, reminds me of um, artwork you'd find from Prairie Artisan. Even though, you know, there's no way I, I can afford a bottle of their beers. They seem so awfully expensive. But yeah, beautiful looking beer. And then you've got a really nice little label wrapping around the neck. And then a nice pale blue crown. So yeah, definitely stands out on the shelf. Uh, just come back from Beretta because uh, there were a couple of Canva beers that have been released recently that Beretta just stocked and then ended up picking up a couple of other beers so uh, yeah got it for a good price as well so let's get the beer opened and poured this has been in the fridge at the shop so it's nicely refrigerated but not too cold nice little bit of smoke there and um, yeah Smells good on the neck. Let's get it into the glass and see how it pours. Now, with a lot of these German craft beers, um, I think I've been lucky enough to be the first person to review these um, in an English speaking uh, video form anyway. So that's what I love about being here in Germany, uh, trying the traditional stuff, the more well-known stuff, and then of course the craft stuff. It gives me an opportunity to not only try these beers, but showcase them to uh, you guys back in the UK and the States. And um, yeah, the fact that there's English language on the bottle itself uh, gives me a glimmer of hope that this will become available to import. Um, I know some of the Canva stuff is available back in the UK, especially more of the more popular ones like um, Hop Gun, uh, Black Shark, which is another beer that I've tried but didn't do a review of for some reason. But anyway, Camber Bavaria, big fan of them. And the beer that I had from Hopperbroy was a really solid one. And I think he is pretty much like a, a gypsy brewer who goes from, you know, just goes to different breweries and brews stuff and then does collaborations. Um, been getting a lot of buzz I've found on um, the, the scene recently, which is always good because there's some really interesting people brewing beers. But anyway, this beer in question, and uh, yeah, the fact that it's a Weitz and Pale Ale, it's pale and it's hazy. With a nice light golden colour, um, almost a bit chalky. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any sediment in there, but there's a nice amount of carbonation. Especially when you swirl it like that, and it just follows it up the side of the glass. It looks really, really nice and inviting, and the beer poured with about two fingers worth, just a little bit less of very foamy fluffy white head which seems to be standing its ground so uh, yeah it looks like what you'd imagine uh, a wheat pale ale crossover to look like let's see if it smells like either of them well first things first is you definitely get a hop presence right up front I'm not too sure what hops have been used for this one but there's a definite like sherbet lemony sort of vibe, so I'm guessing potentially a citra hop in there maybe. But it's actually died down a little bit and you're getting that more of a wheaty sort of flavour on the aroma coming through. But yeah, orangey, lemony, quite vibrant, not too bit, not too sour. But yeah, it is predominantly the hop character that you're picking up. But you do get malt presence, you do get that wheat sort of smell as well in there. Slight hint of yeast, a little bit of honey. 
smells good. It's, you know, coming towards, well, it's technically, uh, meteor meteorologically, if that's a proper word, uh, the first, it was the first day of autumn a couple of days ago, the 1st of September. Um, it doesn't feel like that. It's still warm as hell. And, uh, yeah, this has got that sort of summery vibe about it. But anyway, smells damn good. Looks damn good. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Mm, it really smells good. Even though that carbonation, it's not like really lively, it's not powerful, but it's active. Even though you've got that carbonation though, it's got this really nice, like on the higher end of medium, sort of, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? It's got a really nice creamy body to it, that's what I was wanting to say. Although you prim primarily got those hops on the aroma, um, it's definitely the more wheat beer side that comes through a little bit more. Not completely dominating because you do get that, that hop character on the flavour and also in the hop bitterness. Really nice. It's nice and fruity, not overly fruity, but at the same time it's not overly biscuity or bready like some wheat beers would be. Definitely get like a citrus kick in there, like a lemon juice, not too strong though, you know, it's not tart, it's not sour, it's not attacking the tongue or your taste buds, but it's definitely evident. Um, I'd imagine a beer like this would be bottle conditioned, can't really see too much, the lighting's not really that good in here, so I'll just give it a swirl and pour all the rest in, see if it changes any. I always love it when it's all like gloopy coming out of the bottle when you shuck it up. There we go. So yeah, um, it's just as hazy I'd say. Um, and I'm not too sure. Yeah, there's little bits. There's a nice little fleck. I'm not sure if that's picking up there. Which I hope is from a beer, not from a dirty glass. Because um, you never know. Actually now, I'm getting like a spicy kick in my tummy as that's digesting. That's probably just my body though. Because, you know, wheat beers, um, there's a reason why I don't really go for them that often. It's because it doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, in a, I won't go into graphic details. But yeah, let's give it another taste. Well, that hoppiness has died down a little bit. It's a little bit more bready, a little bit more biscuity. But that hoppiness is still there and it balances it out really, really nicely. I don't usually find wheat beers in any form a really drinkable, sessional, you know, sessionable sort of beer. But this one is. Um, it's not, you know, filled to the brim with flavour. Don't get me wrong, there are probably much more flavourful uh, beers of this style. But if you wanted a nice blend of a wheat beer with a little bit of a hoppy kick, so it doesn't take away too much from the hoppiness, but at the same time doesn't take away too much from the wheat beer style, then this is a definitely a really nice beer. And it's accessible. Um, do you know what I mean? It's like a perfect beer to give to someone who's relatively new to the craft beer scene and wants to see what you can do with different styles and different sorts of beers. And uh, yeah, really, really nice beer. Um, I don't know, I don't know what I was really expecting from this one. I was expecting it to be summery, and it's definitely a summer beer. So um, yeah, perfect for this weather, perfect to see out the summer. And um, yeah, really sessionable, even for a wheat beer. And it's only clocking in at 5.6%, so you can have a few of these and you know, not be too messed up. Maybe a slight bit of blood orange in there as well. I'm starting to pick up little things, but I'm not going to go on too long because we're at the 10 minute mark already. But yeah, if you want an interesting take on a wheat pale ale, then um, you should definitely seek this one out if you can. Um, it definitely looks the part. And um, yeah, it's not my favourite beer that I've tried from Canva um, because, you know, their IPA 
is very, 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 very hard to beat. But it's a very solid beer indeed. And uh, yeah, it showcases both of the brew brewers and breweries involved. So yeah, you've got to celebrate that. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what else um, Hopper Broy has up their sleeves. Even though I think it's only a one-man operation pretty much. Yeah, I um, should have done a little bit more research, but this was just chilled enough for me to do a beer review, so I wanted to get it done. Yeah, definitely a 7.5 out of 10 from me. I'd happily try this one again, and uh, I'd highly, highly recommend it if you like your wheat beers and you like your hops as well. So, um, check out the Camber Bavaria playlist and the Hopper Broy playlist down below. <laughs> I might actually pick up next time at Beretta, just pick up a few more of the Hoffa Broy beers because they are really quite affordable. Um, and plus I've only got one other beer review of those uploaded already. So uh, yeah, I've took up way too much of your time already on this one. Um, go check out Camber Bavaria, go check out Hoffa Broy. All those social network links are down below, as are mine, um, if you feel like that. And uh, yeah, more importantly, I hope you all join me for another beer review. If you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers, guys, and see you later.